Well, Troy, we're back down here again. Back in sunny Devon. Back in sunny Devon, and it's sunny again. I can't <laughs> yeah. believe it, because I suppose, for the most part, it has had a lot of bad weather down here. Yeah, we have. How has your season been with that? I suppose it's nearly been the reverse of last season. We've got good winter crops this year, so wheat's looking well, and probably pretty poor spring crops. Maize is suffering. You know, very cold and dry April, and then very wet and cold May, and a good June so far, but spring crops definitely suffering. Yeah but you were kind of late to get into the grass as well, I suppose. Late, yeah, we did, we're lucky to do some early stuff in April, um, you know, before probably it was quite ready, but glad we did. And uh, then, but mostly back in June, which would be late for us here, yes. When we visited you last year, you were running the 970 in the maze. Yep. We've come this year, catching up with you while you're at the Rye. You've obviously, you've gone up and you've upgraded to the Krohn 1180. We have, we have. And what do you reckon? Well, it's early days yet. Yeah. I mean, the real test will be in the maze when we can, you know, properly use the power. It's probably overkill for what we want in grass most of the time, but it is incredible what it will uh, forage. I think uh, Ed, who drives it, uses the word rude. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah to, he did to, use that today, all right. Rude, rude was the comment. Yeah. Rude was the comment. I think the pleasing thing so far is fuel has been very good. One to two litres an acre under what we were running with the 970 so that we're not getting a fuel penalty by having the power. Not quite so user-friendly as a class, I think it's fair to say, from an operator's point of view. Um, it's obviously different to drive with the way the stick operates. It's quite a change to, you know, not to have a, like a normal push forward and pull back yeah. operation like you would with the class lever. But once you get used to it, it comes to you. Well, she's also, she's got the X-Collect on her today in the Rye. Yep. I know Ed was, that was one thing he was kind of complimenting was the way the X-Collect is working. It'd be like a direct disc, the direct disc we used on the class, which, which worked on the same as the Chrome one, really. But yeah, the X-Collect does look like it's going to be a very good option for the, for the rise and the whole crops. I think as long as it's not very, very short, it'll work well. And obviously a huge advantage having a folding header like you would with the maize. He's in a farm today, 60 acres in 11 fields. It'll be header off and on every single field. Now he's just it's unfold, way to go. And, you know, more chance of using the power. We haven't got our X-Collect yet, unfortunately, so we've got a borrowed one, so we haven't got our full 12 row, we've got a 10 row on. So again, probably not fully using it, but it'll be a big difference being able to run at the nine meters rather than six. And I suppose another machine that you've upgraded this year, you've gone from the stage four, four, three, five S, you've gone now to the stage five. Yes. And do you find that she is better on the pit? Certainly, that's what they're saying. There's, there's notice a difference. Notice a big difference in the, in the torque, really. Quite a lot more go quite a lot more go behind her and I think probably glad they have we've been able to probably overload her with 1180 in fairness so you know she'd be glad to have that extra torque but it's certainly yeah. quite noticeable yes yeah I suppose it has been kind of under a bit of pressure there on the pit with the 1180 <laughs> it, 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 when we've uh, when we put some big roads in front and big acreages you know at the trailers we've certainly had her loaded up yes yeah speaking of trailers you're running the K2 is it rodeos yep yeah, we're running three of them currently. Got one more coming in a minute. Yeah, and you've got them alongside your Richard Westons. Yes, a couple of Richard Westons, and we've sort of always run a lot of Bailey trailers as well in the past. Mm -hmm. And how do you find the compare? Because obviously they are compactors. Yep. So that is a serious amount of weight and input in them. Or well, carrying capacity wise. Yes, yeah. yes, they're not that much heavier, you know, empty yeah. than, a, than a tipper. We like them a lot. We, we tried a couple of Flegel pushers before this, so we sort of dipped our toe in the water with push trailers with the Flegels and the K2s. I think the, the push it works better. It's just a huge advantage, the extra carrying capacity. Where we are in Devon, a bit like Ireland, we've got the narrow roads and hedges. We can't really physically make the go a bigger box because we wouldn't get around, we wouldn't get in. The K2, you can get another sort of 30% capacity by compression. And then when you're in the clamp, you haven't got to worry of tipping up, you haven't got to worry of hitting the roof. There's all those sort of advantages as well. So yeah, I've been very pleased and very pleased. And they, yeah. they've been good bits of kit so far. And when you're able to put a larger load in them, especially on the longer draws, because I know when I was here last time, you were doing the long draw, was it all the way from Sidmouth? It's well needed. Yeah, yeah, it is well needed. Yeah, you're, you're on 10 mile, you know, each way, 20 mile round trips there. You, the extra capacity makes a difference. We've got plenty of oomph in the tractors to pull them. So you just well be, you know, towing a load. You've also got one of the new 700 series Gen 6. Yeah, I, I think it's fair to say I'm probably the wrong man to ask on that one at the minute, <laughs> yeah. to, to have had the feedback. I th it, it, it is a serious upgrade, it's, a, it's very nice for the screen, it, it feels very nice inside. I think a big improvement on the varial control. I, I was not a big fan of the, um, certainly what likes in the nines, what have you. The new varial control is much more ergonomic, is the right word. Um, and the screen control is a, a lot more user friendly, I think. So yeah, b b big step forward. Yeah, and again, you've gone from, was it? The 939 to the 942, the 942 she's kind of doing, so obviously the new 1290 baler behind you. Yeah. 
I think I spotted her out earlier in the year on the Valistat drill. Yeah, she's been on the drill, yeah. So yeah, no, she's definitely an impressive bit of kit. She is, she is. I mean, we probably don't need the 942 as such, but it, but it, but it sort of made sense economically to, to go that way. But power is always nice, you're on top of the job. Power to weight ratio, down this part of the world, on the hills, on the banks, wherever you pull in the drill, triple mowers, whatever. You keep going the same speed up as you can down and that's maximise your output. Yeah, and like you were saying there, it's great to have a bigger tractor. It almost sometimes be handier, not handier than a smaller tractor, but when it comes to the fuel consumption on the bigger jobs, it's better to be idling rather than pushing something too hard. They will definitely use less fuel if they're not really being dogged. They do. They do. If they're on top of the job and in charge, the, the fuel per acre is, which is what it's all about, really, fuel per acre, you know, that's, that's what matters, not fuel per hour. They will always be better. They will. Yeah. Well, that's absolutely brilliant, Troy. Thanks a million for giving us a bit of time here today to give us a bit of a chat and a catch up and um, we'll catch a bit more of this 1180 working. Yeah, all right, Olivia, thank you.